go and buy Tiffany Haddish a car. See, if we remember the movie Cadillac Records, I'll keep buying you a car but I won't give you what you're worth. Many celebrities in Hollywood have been coming forward to speak against the Hollywood mogul, Tyler Perry. However, one person who has recently come out with new allegations against Tyler Perry is Tiffany Haddish. It seems like her allegations come from a phase she has personally gone through all in Hollywood because of Tyler Perry. It's real. Yeah. Like... <laughs> if the man looks too good to be true, he is. Tiffany has allegedly discussed the off-camera disturbing side of Tyler Perry. She has opened up about all the truth which was hidden behind the curtains from being betrayed by Tyler Perry. She discussed how Hollywood had cost her, her soul, and then later get canceled. I'm just tired of people playing with me. Tiffany Haddish had a tough time with Tyler Perry. You won't believe how Tyler Perry treated her. After facing a lawsuit that accused Haddish and Aerie Spears of wrongdoing a few years ago, Haddish shared how it affected her. The lawsuit cost her jobs, and even Tyler Perry, whom she considered family, turned away from her. Tiffany Haddish, known for her role in Girls Trip, opened up to TMZ about the consequences following accusations that she and Aerie Spears had groomed an M, two underage siblings in a lawsuit filed in Los Angeles Superior Court. Before this, Haddish had already addressed the child S. A. lawsuit was filed against her and Spears. All my gigs gone. Really? Everything gone. But now that they've changed face, you know, I don't you feel know, like bro. you regain your. You Ain't know? No, I don't have no job. In the middle of all this trouble, Tyler Perry and his studios didn't support Tiffany Haddish, even though the accusations against her were proven false. Despite her efforts to make the world better, Perry didn't step in to help her during this difficult time. During this period, Monique became more vocal about her criticism of Tyler Perry and his studio, highlighting how he exploits black actors, including Tiffany Haddish. After months of working to salvage her career, Tiffany Haddish finally had the case against her dismissed. However, still, Tyler has not shown any support for Tiffany, it's just like abandoning and ditching a person. However, while many would say that Tyler doesn't simply want to work with Tiffany, while they might be wrong as Monique highlighted Tyler's betrayal abilities way before, in which she pointed out that Tyler has been discriminating against black actors and exploiting them for his own use. She stood up for the black actors in Hollywood against Tyler Perry saying, oftentimes when it comes to a black woman speaking up and speaking out, it goes unheard until she dies. Then once she dies, then we go back and say, well, she was right, and let's make a movie about it, she explained. See, I can give you their names, Eartha Kitt. I can give you their names, Hazel Scott. I can give you their names, Fannie Lou Hamer. I can give you their names, Hattie McDaniel. All of those women took a stand, and all of those women left here heartbroken, unhealthy, looking at a community saying, y'all know I'm right, but why won't anybody say anything? After facing the lawsuit, Tiffany went through a serious struggle during her career, and she found Hollywood including the Hollywood mogul, Tyler Perry blackballing her which resulted in her going broke. Tiffany Haddish's career took a major hit, and many Hollywood fans have distanced themselves from her. When it was revealed she would be in Girls Trip 2, the producers faced backlash and petitions asking for her character to be removed flooded in. When she stepped into the industry, she also revealed that not just Tyler but many other Hollywood actors tried to take advantage of her. She also shared surprising details about her journey to fame, claiming that she had unusual encounters involving Scientology and Jada Pinkett. The actress revealed that during her struggling days, a member of the Church of Scientology approached her. This organization, known for controversies involving celebrities like Jada Pinkett, seemed to have targeted Haddish at that time. Haddish shared that she was homeless and in desperate need of a job. She was even an orphan which meant she had no one to look after her. She said, I was homeless as hell, she told reporters at the Television Critics Association press tour while promoting her reboot of Kids Say the Darndest Things on ABC, and I needed a roof over my head. While trying to secure roles as an extra at a casting agency, Tiffany Haddish was approached by someone who introduced her to Scientology. Tiffany Haddish shared that when she was approached by Scientology, the concept wasn't as widely known as it is today. Being a homeless woman struggling to get by, she saw it as an opportune moment. However, she was unaware that there were other intentions at play. I took a few courses and they found out I was homeless, she continues. And then they were like, if you stay here, we'll pay you $1.50 a month and you'll have a roof over your head and you can help us in Inglewood and the South Central area in Los Angeles. Because I guess they didn't have any people like me in their organization. 
It appears that at that point they might have decided to make her a member, as the next turn of events took an unexpected twist. Tiffany Haddish disclosed that she was given a contract by the Church of Scientology and was required to sign it. The contract was like a billion-year contract or something, which I thought was crazy, but I was like, whatever, I need a place to stay. Things took an even stranger turn when Tiffany Haddish observed the conditions that her supposed helpers associated with Scientology were proposing to her. They took me where people sleep, the barracks, they call it, and it was bunk beds, and I don't do bunk beds, she says. So I threw a fit and they tore my contract up and they put me out. I don't do bunk beds, it's just not my thing. You want to see me lose my temper, tell me I gotta sleep in a bunk bed and I'm going to cut up. Scientology, a controversial religion, operates celebrity centers, special churches primarily for artists, politicians, leaders of the industry, sports figures, and anyone with the power and vision to create a better world, as stated on the church's website. Jada Pinkett, a well-known figure, has been in the headlines for Scientology-related reasons in the past. It seems logical to target established celebrities for recruitment. However, it's not just celebrities on their radar. Allegedly, children were also part of their conversion efforts. But that's not all guys. Cat Williams, the outspoken American comedian and actor, also took a jab at Tiffany Haddish. Cat Williams created a buzz by sharing some revealing insights about Tiffany Haddish, and the consequences are causing quite a commotion. While on V103's Frank and Wanda, in the morning show, Williams didn't hold back from casting shade at Haddish. Following his Emmy win for a guest role on Atlanta, Cat Williams used the occasion to question Tiffany Haddish's quick rise to stardom. In a harsh critique, he challenged her comedic abilities, suggesting that she doesn't create her own material and has yet to prove herself as a bona fide comedian. He said, Haddish has been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour. I mean, since she was 16, you can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes. Cat Williams didn't hold back his opinions, and it appears that his skeptical outlook on Tiffany Haddish's comedy career may now be impacting her. He added, They all ready to down Monique and up somebody who has showed them Girls Trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip goofball? Or do you think that was already a script and they handed it to her? It's up to you whatever you want to believe. Tiffany Haddish became a center of attention because of her actions. Many fans believe that due to the struggles she has faced in Hollywood, she might have sold her soul because of which she did things she didn't even have any idea of. Tiffany Haddish's recent behavior has raised concerns. In a notable incident, she was arrested early Friday morning on suspicion of driving under the influence, as reported by the Beverly Hills Police Department. Police were called at 5.45 a.m. on Friday morning, leading to Tiffany Haddish being taken into custody shortly after. The incident followed her performance at the Laugh Factory in West Hollywood the previous night for the comedy club's annual Thanksgiving feast. Interestingly, earlier on the same day, she was in jail after being taken in and booked that morning. When questioned by an audience member at the Laugh Factory, Haddish turned the situation into humor, expressing that her prayers for a man in uniform were answered, and the crowd enjoyed it. Notably, she had used a similar line after her 2022 Georgia DUI incident when she appeared on The Tonight Show. She said, I can say this, Jimmy, I've been praying to God to send me a new man, a good man, said Haddish. NLD God went ahead and sent me four in a uniform, I wasn't expecting it. I got a really great lawyer and we're going to work it out, and I've got to get my asking of things to God a little better. Later on, Tiffany Haddish shared with ET that her Thanksgiving day had been extensive, beginning with serving meals to underprivileged individuals at the Laugh Factory. She performed a special holiday set at the comedy club's 43rd annual free feast for the community. Regarding her arrest, Haddish explained to ET that her Tesla, which she claims parked itself, ended up blocking a part of the street when she dozed off. She said, I'm going to get some help so I can learn balance and boundaries. Haddish mentioned that she was feeling okay after the incident and praised the Beverly Hills Police Department for handling things professionally. She got in trouble with the police on November 24th when witnesses saw her car stopped in the middle of Beverly Drive and it seemed like she was asleep at the wheel. However, Tiffany has been up to more than just driving under the influence in her car. While driving, she recently went on Instagram to honestly talk about her feelings regarding her team and friends. In a sincere talk that lasted almost 22 minutes, she openly shared her frustrations and worries, giving viewers a look into the challenges she faces as a public figure and entertainer. Don't ask me to just okay. oh, she's a nice person. Tiffany's so nice and so sweet. That night. That night.
nice it's hard to be a nice to you in the video haddish started by addressing a common misunderstanding about her the idea that she is always nice and sweet clearly upset she talked about being tired of being stuck in that image in her talk haddish strongly expressed her dissatisfaction with people close to her who she felt were taking advantage of her kindness and being lazy she was clearly frustrated and urged others not to assume she would work for free especially if she had already paid them for their services in the past nobody want to work for free i don't even ask people to work for free I Many fans believe she was referring to Tyler Perry, accusing him of blacklisting her and facing allegations of not fairly compensating actors. Tyler Perry Studios faced a significant issue in 2008 when the Writers Guild of America West filed an unfair labor practice complaint. This was in response to Perry dismissing four black writers from his TV comedy, House of Pain. The writers were reportedly seeking union representation, and Perry did not sign a worker's guide contract that would have ensured pensions and health care plans for the writers. Perry's attorneys argued that the firings were based on the writers' quality of their work rather than labor union contracts. Given Tiffany's recent actions, many fans are expressing concern and believe that she needs serious help. Some think that seeking assistance is crucial for her to navigate and thrive in the challenging environment of Hollywood. One user said, nobody in Hollywood can say they weren't used by the industry. That's literally part of the game. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.